Hi, welcome to my channel, Michelle Duquet, Soulful and Unplugged. Last week we were talking about the quantum physics of my experience when I experienced the energy fields, potential and actual uh, energy field in an atom. I will put in the link, that was vlog number six, and last week in vlog number seven, um, I talked about my experience of how I cured my eczema. And this week, I wanna go into the heart of it. Last week, I um, talked about how these fields of energy in quantum physics influence the body, and that um, in order to create a new field of energy, we do have to put some effort. It is up to us to create it. That means vibrating at a different frequency than the one in which the physical ailment exists. I guess because I knew I'd be talking about the heart of it this week, I found myself all day going into that sacred space. See, sometimes a crisis happens in our lives, like a physical ailment, because our soul is really trying to get our attention. This, this beautiful thing that happens in consciousness, when we elevate our consciousness to a point where we understand that we are responsible for everything we're creating in our lives, that we are creating what is in our lives, then each event in our lives, each crisis that happens physically, each relationship issue is, it's like a blueprint. It's like a beautiful book that shows us what is really going on. And there's no need for us to feel shame or lack of acceptance or, or this wish to repress what we see because there's no need for judgment. It's coming from our subconscious, being aired out for us to heal. This week, uh, talking about the heart of it, I know what a sacred space that is. There is a vibrational field called the universal love vibrational field. It's always there, it always exists. And we can tap into it, become entrained to its vibration, become attuned to it, and start vibrating it at, at its frequency. But we need to put in the effort, meditate, open our hearts, to a point where we are feeling that love. And sometimes it's the very thing that we just don't want to do. That's the very thing we need the most to do. There's something beautiful about our Canadian winter that I really love. And uh, today, I don't know, I just felt a deep need to be in silence, but in communion with nature, in communion with my, my dog. She's right here. <laughs> there she is. Hi, Pookie. Will you say hi? Oh, no. She kind of never wants to say hi. <laughs> I don't blame her. And um, because I know what a sacred space this heart vibration is, and it's very necessary to heal ourselves, I just n had the need to go into silence. And this Canadian winter is a beautiful space for that. The cold can be so beautiful. I just um, needed to be in silence. Everything that I did in my moment-to-moment -moment awareness and consciousness, I had the sense that um, I felt in love with everything I did today. That's what it feels like to be in heart consciousness. As our heart opens up, and we are in the love vibration, in the forgiveness vibration, forgiving ourselves, loving ourselves exactly as we are in our anger, in our bitterness, in our resentments, in whatever feelings that we're conscious of that are being 
manifested in a physical ailment like me was with my eczema. When we really do open up to the heart consciousness, we're in a very vulnerable place because we're not used to it. It's not that people aren't loving when they treat us coldly, it's that they're full of hurt. So, but it is difficult because we go out into the world and especially when I feel particularly loving and I just have a, such an open heart when I'm interacting with people and they're really shut down. It <laughs> feels like a wet fish, kind of. <clears throat> but it doesn't take me out of that loving place either. It really doesn't because all I have is compassion because I understand where they're from. I understand where they're coming from. They're coming from a place of hurt. I do a lot of work to stay in the heart vibration. It's called entrainment. So the more I meditate on the heart chakra opening up, the more I commune with nature and take these beautiful walks, the more I'm really present in everything that I do from lunch to just even cleaning up my house, meditating, the more I can stay in that love vibrational frequency. And the more loving I am towards myself in what I discover, I can love my terrible, terrible sores because I understood at a profound level that it was, it was exactly what I needed and my soul was communicating to me so clearly. We are so hard on ourselves. We're so judgmental of ourselves. And one of the practices that I, I find incredibly helpful is a practice I call Love Myself Anyway. In order to change your existence from whatever it is that you're not happy with right now, you need to love yourself exactly as you are right now. Stop yourself in this moment right now. Exactly. Like, right now. Love yourself anyway. I'm, I happen to be sitting in the uh, energy room right now. This is the room in which I give uh, bioenergy therapy treatments and this room is very 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 special so I wanted to bring you into the energy room to hopefully give you a sense a feeling of what it's like to be in that sacred divine space there is in you the universal love vibration and you can tap into it right now by focusing on your heart and focusing on something you love, loving yourself exactly as you are right now, because you're worthy. Thanks for sharing this space with me. It's really heartwarming. <laughs> and next week we're gonna talk about the spirit connection to our physical manifestations. Have a great week.